here. Welcome to Walmart Today. I'm Alex, this is Molly, and we're excited to bring you all the updates from around the company. We've got a good show for you today. Let's have a look. First, we'll introduce you to Walmart's newest and most convenient way to check out. It's just a matter of getting on your smartphone. And speaking of convenience, we've recently expanded our incredibly popular grocery pickup option. And we're going to follow that up with a personal interview with someone who knows a little bit about those innovations. CEO of Global E-Commerce and Technology, Neil Ash. So, let's get started. Walmart is always thinking of ways to simplify and improve the customer experience. And the Walmart app offers multiple ways for our shoppers to save time and money. One of the most exciting new features on the app is Walmart Pay, the mobile payment solution that we're rolling out in stores over the next few weeks. It allows customers to have a quick and seamless shopping experience by checking out with the help of any iOS or Android device. Here's how it works. After registering, which takes just about 30 seconds, visit any register, open the Walmart app, and choose Walmart Pay. Then, at any time during checkout, simply scan the code displayed at the register. Once an associate scans and bags the items, you're all done. An e-receipt will be sent to the app and can be viewed at any time. That's it, and don't forget you can incorporate your associate discount card. This easy and helpful technology will be up and running in all locations this summer. That's great, Molly. I love anything that makes shopping easier. Between my day job and hosting the show, it's not always easy to find time. Diva on the set. Well, then you'll be happy to know that we're also expanding our free grocery pickup option into even more markets. Recently, Walmart announced that not only will we expand this service into eight additional markets, but we're doubling the number of store pickup locations in some markets where the service is already offered. That is fantastic news, Molly. I love the idea of creating a grocery list online, then just swinging by the store and having all the items brought right out to my car. Me too. I love it. I use it all the time. And this video will give you an idea of how it works. Now we recently had a chance to chat with someone who knows a thing or two about Walmart pay, grocery pickup, and a whole lot of other things. Our CEO of Global E-Commerce in Technology, Neil Ash. Neil, thanks so much for joining us on Walmart today. We're so excited to have you. Thanks, Molly. It's great to be here. Great. We have a few questions for you. Ready? All right. Ready. All right. Tell us what it's like being the CEO of this big, cool tech company. One of the interesting things about that people don't get about a tech company, they think tech and they think software and hardware, but tech companies really are customer companies. So all the technology we're building is just is just about serving um, serving customers. But um, so that's I think one of the things that people don't understand. But I think one of the most exciting things is almost anything's possible. So with uh, super talented people and good ideas and the ability to build stuff, we can create stuff that no one's even thought of, which is, which is awesome. So you've built a lot of cool things lately, Walmart Pay and online grocery pickup, two of the biggest, right? So tell me a little bit more about what you're hearing from customers around those services. With both of those services, Molly, we started, with, we started first with, okay, what is the customer gonna experience when they do this? And then we work backwards from how are we going to and and how are we going to achieve that for them, whether it includes business changes, technology changes, or operational changes. And they've all come together and we measure them on customer satisfaction. And the customer satisfaction we score every transaction for uh, for online grocery, for example, has been off the charts, like 95% customer satisfaction. And customers are coming to us and they're saying, "Wow, you changed my life." So. We're out in the field and we go meet customers and we always pull out the iPhone and, and film them as we go <laughs> along. And they, they tell us things like, you changed our lives. I had no idea, please do more of this. And then I, with Walmart Pay, I'm really excited about the impact that the phone 
can have on the customer's experience in the store. So when they pull out that smartphone, they open the app and they scan that QR code. So if, if you've used it, it's awesome. You're done, you get to leave. So just let your imagination run wild about how the whole store experience could change when we do more things like that. So really, really, really excited about that. What do you think in our day-to-day -day roles as Walmart associates, we should be thinking and doing every single day? You know, I had the opportunity to speak at, at uh, YBM for the, for the Walmart stores, and Greg said, if you could say one thing to the store managers, what would you say? And I'm going to say the same thing to you that I said to them, which I would say to everyone else, which is at least once a day, and hopefully more than once a day, look at us as if you're a customer, not a Walmart associate. So the first time you walk through the door, or the first time you open the app, or the first time you log into the site, Log in as a customer and see that experience as a customer sees it because that's what we're really here to do. So appreciate your time here with us on Walmart today. Molly, thanks for having me. It's great to be with you. Great job, Molly. I think I can see myself in that job one day. Really? From the NFL to now being a CEO? Hey, what can you say? You gotta dream big. Well, that's it for this episode of Walmart Today. Thanks everyone for joining us. See you guys next time. Look at my hair, come on. <laughs> and she stuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Molly. Boom, boom. BFF is a one-of-a-kind event devoted to championing women and diversity in media. I hope to see you in Bedeville next May 3rd through the 8th.